What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy GS. Welcome back for another NBA 2K14 Online ranked match. And we are trying to go on ahead and hopefully restart a winning streak. Considering we lost our last game that we went ahead and tried online. So hopefully we can just go on ahead and get ourselves a good game. Today we went ahead and went with the Spurs. Going up against the New York Knicks. And as you can see from the title, uh, you know, uh, he, the guy just abuses Melo. And there wasn't a damn thing I could do about it. So you see, he's 19-9. So, you know, good amount of games played. You know, definitely experienced. You know, he has one of the better offenses, offensive teams in the game. Just because Melo's an absolute stud. So, you know, of course, it turns right into a three-point shooting contest with... You know my opponent as it usually is. And somebody left in the comment section of my last video. Um, they're like, yeah, GS, you're playing zone. What do you expect them to do? You know, you're you're giving them so many open threes. What do you expect? People play zone on me all game two. You know, I don't go chucking up threes. So just because the shot's available doesn't mean that, you know, uh, that's why people shoot threes because... You know, they do it against me, but I, I don't, I just don't chuck up threes because to me, it just doesn't work. I don't, I mean, it's working for this guy. You know, if he keeps making it, I understand, sure. I would keep shooting threes if I keep making them too. But for me, I just continuously miss. So, you know, I, I have uh, better chances of me being able to score inside the paint than I think outside, even though I uh, end up making a three right there. So, 11-11, and this guy just, you know, gives the ball to Melo, and he pick and rolls all game. And look at that. Look at that. Just completely wide open. Defenders just get crossed into each other. So right now we're down 16 to 11. You know, trying to get a fast-paced game going here. We end up going with Tony Parker right to the rim, and we end up scoring, making it a three-point game. So right now it's 16 to 13. And, uh, again, uh, I know Danny Green has a good three-point shot. So anytime he's open, I'm definitely looking for him. But outside of him, I'm not really comfortable with shooting with anybody. But this guy just doesn't matter. <laughs> he is just throwing it up. And he's just not missing. So, uh, you know, trying to deal with these perimeter sh uh, shot guys, it's it's extremely frustrating. You know, it's frustrating because seeing three after three after three fall in, it's like, you know, what more can I do? You know, I feel like my defense is good enough. And uh, then I start getting into the mode myself of, sh of shooting threes. And that just happens out of pure... You know, frustration is, you know, he's hitting threes, he's hitting threes. So, I start, you know, trying to jack him up to see if I can go on ahead and get it going. But I can't as this guy is just making three after three after three fall. And I'm like, damn, I, I, how is he doing this? I can't do that. So, here goes with Melo with his pick and roll backups for a three and he makes another one. So, as you see, I'm, I'm just having difficulty stopping him. I'm trying man to man. Zone's definitely not working. There's always somebody open. And it's usually Melo. So, um, right here, we drive with Parker. We end up uh, addition to the outside. We do make it, but unfortunately, it was a two-point shot. So, you see, we're starting to climb back a little bit, you know, uh, by playing defense. Right there, Tony Parker wide open for the elbow shot, and we end up making that. So, again, still down three. Right there, we get a steal with Ginobili. Obviously, I know he's going to mellow. That's the only person he was trying to go to. So, you know, I definitely keyed in a lot, trying to play a lot of chances with mellow, but it still didn't work. You know, he was still shooting over people. Running by them. There was like nothing I could do to stop this guy. The guy was just unstoppable. Right here, uh, quick little fast break. Goes back to Melo. And uh, he's unable to get anything off. So going in to halftime, we are down. And, you know, I feel like we got to get things together. We got to be able to shut Melo down. But it's, it's so tough. Right there, we force a bad pass. And we go up top, quick little bounce pass. And we end up going in for the layup. And right now, all I'm focused on is keying in on Melo. Because that seems to be like his offensive game plan. Give the ball to Melo. Give the ball to Melo. And you can't blame him. Melo's a, a stud. You know, if I had Melo, I, when I did have Melo, I was giving the ball to him as much as possible too. So, you know, definitely can't blame him. Right there, just really quickly uh, moving the ball up. Quick transition bucket. And uh, right now we are still down. Right there, again, inbounds pass straight to Melo. We end up cutting that off. And we finally get ourselves the lead. So now it's like cool. You know, now it's good. You know, I'm definitely doing a better job of being able to key in on Melo uh, right there. You know, I miss wide open threes, but this guy makes contested threes. You know, some threes he was making was open, but at some points, it didn't even matter. You know, you'll be right in Melo's face, and he just wasn't missing. Melo with another three, and the guy is just just a shooting machine, man. I had difficulty stopping this guy. You know, right here, quick little inbound, inbound bounce pass, I should say, underneath the rim. We end up tying the game again. At this point, we're down two. 
trying to move the ball up top, you know, and then again, there I go, forcing threes, even though we make that one. And I'm only doing it because he's making three after three after three after three, and I feel like I need to do it in order to even keep pace with this guy. Right here, fast break opportunity, and one! We end up giving the dunk right in his face! In his face! Jim! So we end up getting the and one, and we do end up converting, putting us up four points. All I want to be able to do is go into the fourth quarter with the lead, hopefully. You know, I'm trying to give my guys a break. You know, I played uh, the bench for the rest of this quarter. Trying to give my, my starters a break. It didn't even matter because uh, Tim Duncan was always, he started the game on like a two bar. The guy is tired no matter what. Quick stop and pop with Melo. You see he drains the three. And it's, it's obviously frustrating <laughs> because I, I can't figure anything out to stop this guy, man. You know, pick and roll, he'll go around. The defender would just get completely lost. And there were times I was trying to use it. I'll switch over really quickly and try and cut it off. But I, I don't know, man. His offense was just very, very, very confusing. And Melo was just going to work. Thankfully, we end up making the quick basket. And you see, we actually got a five-point lead. So even though Melo is destroying us and we can't stop him, we still go into the fourth quarter with the lead. Hopefully, we can just go on ahead and maintain it. So, right here, we still got the same lead. We stop and pop a three wide open, and we end up missing. I do have my entire bench squad in because I'm trying to give my starters a break. I thought he was going to stop and pop a mellow, but he ends up driving it, and he ends up scoring it, bringing it down to three. So, right now, with my starters not being in the game, you know, I don't have a really solid go-to player offensive-wise, you know, like uh, uh, Tony Parker Duncan. I do have Ginobili, but... The guy was just shooting crazily, man. I don't think I showed it, but he, the dude shot a wide open three. Like, completely wide open and airballed it. Like, completely airballed it. Right there, we get very lucky. Not gonna lie. I think it was the shot before that. The dude straight up airballed the three. I've yet to see an airball in 2K until Manu Ginobili took a wide open three and just straight airballed it. So, you know, at this point, I'm a, I'm a little worried, even though we're up. So, I put my starters back in, even though they're not really well rusted. But neither is Melo. You know, Melo has been playing this entire game. When the CPU subbed him out, he brings them right back in. Finally, we get a missed shot from Melo. And we're driving, trying to go on ahead and get something going. Trying to add to this lead. So, you know, just trying to go on ahead and find the open man. You know, right here, we just play with the ball a little bit. We end up finding a wide open three from the side. But we end up missing. But right here was just a weird turn of events. It was just, a, I don't know what happened. But we end up with the ball right underneath the rim. And we end up going up for the two point. And we end up uh, increasing our lead to six. But we were very, ha I mean, we were having a lot of trouble from this point on. You know, being able to score. So, right, I'm trying to use it, defend him right here. He's, you know, definitely tough being able to use it, use it defend somebody. So, pretty much gets by me, no problem. Shoots a floater. Misses it. So here we go. If we get a fast break buck right here, this would be huge. And that's exactly what ends up happening. We end up going up 61 to 53. We're up eight. So right now, of course, I feel confident. I feel good. Quick pass to Melo. Somebody in his face. Doesn't even matter. Drains the three. And now we're down three. I mean, uh, we're up three now. So now I'm like, okay, there's, there's less than a minute left. Let's kill some clock. Let's move the ball around. And, you know, hopefully find somebody over. More important, let's just, let's just kill as much time as possible. You know, but thankfully, we get a gift, right? It was defensive, three seconds in the paint, which gives us one free throw attempt and ball. So, of course, we're ecstatic, right? We're like, thank you. Now it's a two-possession game. All we got to do is, you know, hopefully kill some clock and score, and game should be over. Uh, right there, wide open three. Don't want to force it because I want to waste as much time as possible. Passing the ball around, trying to get some ball movement going, where it does eventually end up getting stolen by Melo. And on the fast break, he ends up dunking it. So now I'm only up to... With one possession left, right? So now, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm nervous, and we end up uh, turning the ball over. Right there, quick inbounds pass. Melo three. Can't do nothing about it. We're down one, and I'm thinking to myself, we really lost this game. We really lost this game due to a quick inbounds three to Melo, and somebody's right in his face. It just doesn't matter. Melo is just Melo, and he's making it. So right now, we're down one. I'm trying to get myself into the paint, hopefully for an easy basket. Wide open three, but I want to drive. And we do end up getting the shooting foul, which was huge. It goes ahead. It puts me on the line. These are very, very big free throws. And obviously, I don't know their shooting releases because this is my first time playing with every team. <laughs> so right now, uh, we do thankfully end up making both. Uh, and we end up regaining the lead. So right now, we're on defense. And I'm a little worried. You know, of course, because I already know who's getting the ball. So I go to my um, my double team, Mellow, double team. Always, as soon as that man touches the ball, put two people on him. 
We know who's getting the ball. So I try to use Ramelo and bad mistake. He ends up just cutting to the basket. And that right there was bad. So now it looks like we're going to be down one. Except he ends up missing the first free throw. And I'm like, yes, what a gift, right? So uh, he's probably going to be able to tie the game. That's exactly what he does. So right now, really no huge pressure on being able to make this shot. Because worst case scenario, hopefully we probably end up going to overtime. So I'm driving, looking for somebody open. Quick pass right there. And we get another shooting foul. Now, we were in the bonus, so it didn't matter anyways. So right here, these are huge free throws. Thankfully, I got the first release kind of good. So second release, I kind of know what the release is like a little more. So we end up making it. So again, I already knew who's getting the ball. Melo's going to go on ahead and get the ball. Three seconds left. He passes it to him. He has an opportunity for a wide open shot. And he ends up missing the shot, which was huge. Whew. Melo put in work. The dude just straight destroyed me. I could not stop this man, but thankfully at the end of the game, we come away with the victory. Very tough, man. Again, man, he had this pick and roll action, and the the, the computer would just, I don't know, act like they don't know how to defend a pick and roll. So I would try to use it, and, and I didn't know how to defend a pick and roll. So I'm mean, not defended, but he was, you know, sometimes he'll go right, sometimes he'll go left, he'll back up. So he had different options that he was showing me. And once I seen that, I didn't know which way he would go. So it was confusing the hell out of me on which way he tried to defend it. You know, sometimes I, I would, uh, you know, try and cheat and roll over to prepare for Melo, then he'll pass it. You know, sometimes I'll try and cheat and prepare for the pass, and he'll keep it, and he's wide open, and he'll shoot a three. And it was just very frustrating. But nonetheless, man, we come away with the victory, increasing our record to 10-5. and five. So, so far, you know, we can't complain our first 15 games. We are now 10 and 5. And I definitely feel like this is way better than I expected. Considering when I first started, I was asked. So, that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it's your boy Jess. And we are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.